Hi guys, my name is Sashank Velagadi, um, and I'm here to tell you how to import a skeletal mesh from 3ds Max into UDK. Right now I have a simple level file that I'm playing right now. It's just a single platform that you can walk around in, as you can see. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is import, um, using the content browser, the skeletal mesh file. Um, you can create a new item, but I want to import a no one that's already there. So I'm going to go ahead and click import and click the female test PSK. A PSK is a skeletal mesh file that has all the bones for your animation. And I put it in my new package. The second thing I'm going to do is import my animation set. And that will be a PSA file. Um, Unfortunately, in order to import an animation set, you can't just click import. You have to click new. And then make it from a factory animation set. Once you have that animation set, the um, animation set editor opens up. And you can choose the skeletal mesh which you would like to use to preview the animation. From here, you want to click import PSA. Um, open that up and you can import the animations and as you can see that this skeletal figure has her animations ready um, Here the animation set is available and you can see that there are three animations included in that animation set You can play those animations by clicking the play button at the bottom of the screen and just get a quick preview of what they look like Once you have that um, you should have your skeletal mesh ready and your animation set ready in the content browser um, in the package that you would like. So what you want to do is go ahead and add an actor, add a skeletal mesh actor and then add skeletal mesh. Um, here you can specify the skeletal mesh you want by popping over from the content browser and then go ahead and specify the animation set you want as well in the same way. Once you have those you should have your skeletal mesh in the scene and you can uh, actually go ahead and like play from here and want if you want and like take a look at it, um, and it should be working just fine. The second thing you want to do after that is note that the properties of the skeletal mesh um, should have a physics type of physics interpolating. Um, this is going to help with the animation stuff, and if you don't do this it's definitely going to come up with a warning message when you try to edit it, the animation properties in matinee. So in order to actually test that this, this uh, skeletal mesh and animation is working, we can open up Kismet. And let's just make some, a couple of quick events. Um, when the level loaded is loaded, let's just play a quick uh, matinee animation. And we want to include our skeletal mesh in this matinee, so we want to include a new skeletal mesh group in our matinee, um, in the matinee editor. Um, down at the bottom you'll see that it says group animation sets to specify what kind of animation sets are you going to be using for this skeletal mesh group. So the best thing to do is just simply click down there, click on your animation set and uh, go ahead and click on the green arrow and just pop that over. Um, and once you have that working, you should be able to right click on the skeletal mesh group and add a animation control track. Um, you have to try it a couple times if it's not working right away. What you need here is, in the, in the Kismet, you need a skeletal mesh object variable. So what you do is select your object in the scene and with that highlighted you can add that skeletal mesh object variable. Go back to matinee and then now you should be able to get the animation control track just fine. With uh, the matinee white like it is, you can just simply add um, keyframes into the animation control track and they should automatically pop up with uh, a message box that shows what kind of animation sequence you can add there. So I'm going to go ahead and add a wave animation sequence. And I can right click that and just set it to looping so it goes on forever. That would be really convenient. And uh, if I really want it, I can uh, click play in a loop and just to sh prove to myself that it's working. Um, the green scrubbers, you know, are showing what I'm previewing, so I'm going to stretch that out. So yeah, I think that's working pretty good. Um, <clears throat> 
So going back to matinee, I probably want this animation sequence to reverse and play again once it's fully reversed. Just kind of in an infinite loop just to see how it's going. And uh, I'll go ahead and um, play the level from here and prove to you that this skeleton mesh and the animation set has been fully imported. Now you can use these, the skeletal mesh and the animation set freely in code or in Kismet um, for your programmer to use in your game. That's it. Good luck.